Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dr. D's. We are back with another video. So today we are doing a top 10 list on booty clappers for GVG. Let's go. Um, when I talk about booty clappers, I'm talking straight DPS. We are excluding Lord heroes. We're excluding defenders and we are excluding supports. All right. This is strictly booty clappers, guys. That's what the top 10 list is going to be. And honestly, it might help some of you guys out there because if you guys have any of these heroes and you're like, oh, you know what? I'm not even using using them for GVG, you might want to think twice. You might want to think twice because I'm about to lay it down on a top 10 list. And I wanted to give a huge shout out to Cap Kamikaze. He actually helped put these lists together. Um, he gave me a lot of help and he also came up with an awesome idea that we do this in three phases. So this is the first phase, which is the booty clapping phase, which is the video that we are watching right now. And then the next video is going to be supports and defenders. The video after that, which is phase three, it's going to be strictly Lord Skull Heroes. Let's go, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Oh, and by the way, yes, I am in Korea right now, but you know, me being in Korea and enjoying myself, you know, I still had to pump out some videos for you guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this all right so let's go ahead and jump right into it hang on how do i get to the gallery right here so at number 10 okay we have a marksman let's go ahead and go right down into here we have a marksman he is a booty clapping machine and he is also a hang on if i could find the marksman you know what i'm saying all right so we got the marksman class right here he's a booty clapping machine he comes with a little bit of cc's which makes him a little bit better we got my guy Pelagios, let's go. This guy is a booty clapping machine. He is about that life, guys. I know he is a ancient exclusive, so it's not anything that's uh that's super easy to get, but he had to crack this list. I mean, he's just that good. Not only does he come with good damage, but keep in mind, he's not only part of the Arbiter faction, but he's also part of the Piercer Lord faction, which makes him that much better. Because look at this range. We got this range right here. He's got that Nyx range, that Maul range. I mean, it is a beautiful range. Then you add him on a Piercer Lord, that range goes up and it just makes for a good day. All right, so not only does this guy do a good amount of damage, but this is what makes him that much better. This Tidal Vortex right here. Poseidon's Fury has a 60% chance to create Tidal Vortex at the target's location, lasting for three seconds so this bad boy right here basically not only is it doing damage but it's sucking the the enemy units into it so it, it makes it to where your booty clappers could go ahead and and finish them off before they even reach the the defender this guy just has the ultimate kit guys i mean you could argue a case you can make a case for this guy being higher on the list but you could do that for almost everyone that i have on this list but for me personally I felt that number 10 was a good spot for him. So he cracks number 10 on the list. And at number nine, you know I had to give love to some of the mages, you know what I'm saying? This chick, she would be a lot higher on this list if she wasn't so dependent on whatever map is being used. So at number nine, we got my girl, where she at, Dahlia. Dahlia, oh my goodness, let me just say, if she wasn't so dependent, the reason why she's dependent on the map, it's because of her range. Her range, it goes far, but it just goes in a straight line. As we can see right here, it's just a straight line going all the way down. So the thing that's beautiful about her kit is the fact that she has slows in her kit. Um, she has these curse blossoms. They slow the enemies down. They also do damage. And on top of that, they also inflict poison. I mean, it's the ultimate kit. Look at that. She's got trap, multi-target attack. I would say the biggest knock. There's two knocks on her. The first is her range. Her range could either be beneficial or it could be a con, depending on which map it is. But um, again, she would be higher on this list, but this range, you have to put her in a certain way or else she's not really going to be that effective. I would say the second knock on her is the fact that she doesn't affect any air units. So basically she's strictly for the ground units, but let me just say this chick is an absolute beast. So let me show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so this map right here, here, let's go onto this map. Um, I'm on deploy, let's just deploy one. Okay, so we're deploying one person. Basically, this map is not the most ideal for her. Actually, you know what? I kind of messed this up here. Let's go back. I kind of, I, I need a, I need a range unit or, or a unit that you could put on a platform. So uh, let's redo this real fast. All right. So here, let's put, not her, let's put Hatsu. Okay. So this map is not the most ideal map for her. I mean, you could place her right here. I have Dahlia on my free to play. 
the the other map is a lot more beneficial because she can reach all the way down this map not so much if you could use dahlia for all the maps with with just getting the fullest potential out of her she would be a lot higher on this list but since you can't it, it just it kind of caps things so on my free to play i actually have her right here but the problem with it right here i mean it does reach all the way down but basically right when they pass that this point right here and they go towards the defender guess what she's not doing any damage and she's basically irrelevant so then there was another strategy where i put her right here and you know we we have to put the defender right here but then you have to get a little tricky with the lineup because you don't want the legendary mages coming down and just one-shotting everybody right so um it's just this map is not ideal for Dahlia, okay? But with this map, she is triple S tier. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean. This map right here, you go, the, this was the old map, right? Um, you put Dahlia in here, right here, right behind Valkyra. She reaches all the way down. I mean, this is the most overpowered map for my girl. And honestly, I wish I had her on my main account because she would do nasty work, guys, nasty work. Keep in mind, my free to play, I don't have that great of gear, but oh man, she won me so many matches simply because she's slowing them down. She's adding poisons. And then also she's doing a massive amount of AOE damage. It's the ultimate kit. And then my booty clappers, whoever I had in this spot right here, they can go ahead and clap. They go ahead and do the damage and it makes for a good day. So Dahlia cracks number nine on the list. And at number eight, you know, we had to add some fighters in here. You can't make a list for a top 10 booty clapping list and not add in some fighters. The fighter class has a lot of heavy hitters, guys. A lot of heavy hitters. This guy can hit air units. He can hit ground units. He's one of the most versatile heroes in the whole entire game. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. At number eight, we got my main band, Arrogance. Let's go. Again, you could make an argument for him to be higher on this list, but honestly, we, me and I, I, I just put a lot of time and effort into this list and Cap also helped me out with this. So, you know, we just felt that at number eight was a good spot for my guy Arrogance because the guys ahead of him are just a tad bit better, a tad bit better. And again, you could make an argument for Arrogance being higher, but he's a booty clapper nonetheless. I mean, first off, look at this range. He's got one of the best ranges when it comes to a ground unit. And also he's good with AOE. He's good with single target. He's got the ultimate kit guys he also inflicts burning his whole kit revolves around burning and keep in mind if you need that little extra damage let's say they go out of arrogance's range and you need that extra damage no need to fear burning is here you need a little bit of extra damage the burning will take care of them i mean it's not going to happen that often but it does happen it has happened for me before um but this guy he, he's just a booty clapping machine guys what more can i say what more can i say and also if you get lust you get his uh, bond skill unlocked. His bond skill to me is just okay. It's it's a good bond skill, but it's not like Silas's bond skill where it absolutely changes him, right? Uh, but it's a good bond skill. So having less definitely helps with his DPS. But with that being said, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. He just does absolute work when it comes to DPS and he cracks number eight on the list. And at number seven, we have the clapper of cheeks a guy that has carried my account for many many months i mean this guy is an absolute stud muffin and honestly he would be a lot higher on this list but there's only one problem with my guy right here and i will explain it here in a second but at number seven we have my main man silas i mean you guys already know what it is this guy is the clapper of cheeks he's a booty clapping machine um and he's just a beast the only problem is all his damage comes from his ultimate but his ultimate is just so good it's so good it's one of the best ultimates in the whole entire game you kind of have to have a vierna because that's when it gets really good um his soul sniping deals 100 extra damage during shadow cloak which shadow cloak is his ultimate so once you get vierna you get the bond skill unlocked and then he just becomes god tier i mean this guy is an absolute stud if you do have this guy you kind of need to pair him with the hollow or a elowin just so he gets the, the rage back quicker so then he could do his ultimate again. Because with Silas, it's just so easy to time his ultimate. You basically send in somebody for, for a sacrifice, right? He goes in, Silas pops his ultimate. He absolutely demolishes that guy. Uh, then you go ahead and send in your heavy hitters and it's just kind of easy to get around his ultimate but there is ways around it so like i mentioned hollow elowin or if you have some other big time booty clappers or good ccs that can hold things off until silas gets his ultimate back 
Um, there, there's always that. But at the same time, since all his damage comes from his ultimate, I couldn't put him any higher on this list. And he cracks number seven. And at number six, we have someone who whenever I see her, I really got to think twice. I really, every single time I see this chick, I'm like, should I attack? Maybe, maybe let me have some of the guildmates attack, but then I'll watch what their strategy was because she melts everything in her path. I mean, we got my girl Ardea. Ardea is about that life, guys. She is an ancient exclusive. Honestly, I would love to get my hands on Ardea. I have not gotten lucky, you know? I feel like, uh, I feel like it's about time for your boy D's to get an Ardea. Are you watching, Moonton? Nah, 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 nah. But on the real though, she, she's just a beast, guys. She is an absolute stud. Um, it just kind of sucks that she's part of the Northerner faction. Um, the only person that really gives her an attack boost would be if you had Elder, because Elder's Lord skill, I believe, is the only one that actually increases the attack or damage or something like that. Um, but the other ones are more for survivability. But if you have a chaotic team, it gets pretty nasty, guys. It gets pretty nasty. But even without all that, even without the Lord skill, she's just that effective if she's that good I mean she's just a beast guys I'm not going to dive too deep into her kit just know she throws these little boomerang sword thingies and they hurt they hurt I mean it just does a massive amount of damage and it's good AoE damage I hate going against Ardea and in, in a chaotic team for single target arena she just melts me and she does the same for GVG which is why she makes number six on the list and now we are getting to the nitty gritty guys we are going into the top five these guys are the best of the best when it comes to dps for guild wars let's go at number five this guy would easily have been number one once upon a time but then they decided to nerf him which was which was much needed because he was just way too overpowered for those of you guys that have been playing this game for quite some time you guys know where I'm going with this. At number five, we got my main man, Boreas. Boreas, oh man, what, what can I say about Boreas? The fact that this man right here has freeze in his kit, but then he also has a good amount of burst damage. His burst damage is insane, guys. So he has burst damage. He has freeze in his kit. I mean, what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? This is one of the few non-exclusive ancients that your boy D's doesn't have yet. I've been wanting this guy for so long. Um, he's still an S tier hero, even after he got nerfed. I mean, he's just that good. And he's another one of those guys where you run into him and you've really got to think twice. If someone knows what they're doing and they put together an awesome team revolving around my guy right here, it's going to be kind of hard to defeat it. I mean, he is just that good. Now, again, once upon a time, he would have been a lot higher on this list. He would have probably been number one, but he cracks number five and number five is no joke. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's just an absolute stud. Definitely one of those guys you don't want to run into on GVG. And now we have number four. We're going back to the marksman class, guys. We talking about an AOE booty clapper, guys. One of the best when it comes to AOE. I mean, who does it better? Who does it better? We got none other than my girl Hatsu. Hatsu? Hang on. I didn't, I, where was she? At? Okay, right there. The very first one. All right. So we got my girl Hatsu. I mean... Let me just say, Hatsuit's one of those heroes that you've really, really got to put an extra good strategy in, especially if she has good synergy with the team that they put together. But what makes her so tough is because this basic attack, she basically shoots it out. It bounces off of each enemy going back and forth, right? Back and forth. Initially, it's not that much damage, but damage over time, yes. A lot of damage over time. But then another thing, the thing that makes her so special is this ultimate right here. Ah, this ultimate is so good, guys. So good. I actually use my Hatsu and I love my Hatsu, especially for GVG. I mean, right when it comes through, look, look, right when they're in the range, she goes, it's, it's, it's actually got that Dolores range. It goes up, back, left, right. I mean, it's just got an awesome range. It hits everything in its path. And if you build her out correctly, she'll absolutely demolish anything. Like if someone tries to do the, the mob you know, they send out the mob, right, to try and hurry up and get to the portal. If they do that, she'll take care of it. I mean, she's just really hard to, to you know, strategize against just because she's about that life, guys. She is about that life, and she cracks number four on the list. And at number three, we are staying in the marksman class, guys. Marksman class has a lot of booty clappers, all right? And we have a guy. He is an ancient exclusive but my goodness, does this guy clap? And he claps hard. Them cheeks get clapped. Let me just say that. We got my guy Sargak. Sargak is just 
Such a beast. He's such a little stud muffin. He's got the multi-strike attack, arena mastery. I mean, just know that this guy does a massive amount of damage and he attacks fast because, hang on, where is it? Right here. Increases attack speed by six for every 1% HP lost. The effect of specialized attack speed is stronger when HP is lower. So basically, when he, uh, I think he does his ultimate, yeah, it reduces defense by 30%, increases attack, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hang on, which one? Oh, okay, okay. So when triggered, reduces 10% of current HP per second so basically his hp goes down then guess what he is attacking like a madman because his attack speed is just raising drastically right so basically this guy's just got the ultimate kit and he's very hard to get around i'm not going to lie you know whenever someone has a built sargak it's just really hard to get past them he's just really good guys i mean he's just really good that, that, that's all there is to it he's just really good and he is a pain in the butt if you're trying to go against him in gvg but he cracks number three on the list and at number two we have a guy that can hop on anyone's lord skill anybody's lord skill he's part of the unnamed faction I think everybody knows where I'm going with this right we got my main man Ajax first off when I first started playing this game Ajax was like was like that guy that everyone was like oh I really want to Ajax I you know Ajax he looks cool I mean he's he's a dragon you could barely even see him when I first when I first started playing this and I, I saw my man Ajax I was like I just thought he was a dragon I didn't even see the little man on top look at him I mean, they made him so tiny. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. The dragon's supposed to be pretty huge, right? But that doesn't take away from what this guy can do. So this guy, first off, let's take a look at this range. The range is nasty, guys. He's got a nasty range. And the best part about him is the fact he can hop on anyone's Lord skill. That just makes him so lethal, so very lethal for GVG. Because, you know, when you can bunny hop on any Lord skill you want, you can put him in basically any strategy. And on top of that, he's got really good AoE. You know, his AoE is next to none. I mean, you want to talk about Hot Suit's AoE. Hot Suit's AoE is really good. But the reason why Ajax is higher is because I think his AoE is just, it's better. And he can hop on anyone's Lord skill, which makes him better than Hot Suit for GVG. So on top of that, he also has burning and he also has slows in the kit. I mean, he's just got the ultimate kit, guys. The ultimate kit. This guy is a booty clapping machine. I mean, I, you know what's funny? When I first started playing this game, um, I pulled Ajax. I got super excited. I was like, oh my God, I pulled Ajax. I mean, it, it was kind of kind of sucked because I pulled him in the Ancients. Uh, you know, whenever you're pulling in the Ancients, you want an Ancient exclusive. But at the same time, I was stoked at the same time because I'm like, oh my God, I finally got him. I've been wanting this guy for so long. And then I, I tried him out. I didn't have his skills fully upgraded at the time, but I tried him out and I was like, oh, this guy's a little, little maybe he's a little overrated. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, but then, you know, uh, People just kept talking about how good he was. So I gave him another chance. I got his skills fully upgraded and I also uh, built him correctly because the first time I did it, build him correctly. Uh, when I built him correctly, I mean, this guy's just, it doesn't get much better than this. And, and especially for GVG, mainly because he's got slows, he's got great AOE, he's got great range and he can hop on anyone's Lord skill. So he cracks number two on the list. And at number one, we have someone very special someone who is a fighter she's in the fighter class guys and honestly she's probably the most used hero when it comes to gvg defenses i mean i see her on, on almost every single team if you have this chick you better use her you better use her because she is so good we got my girl valkyra i mean whew. This was honestly a pretty easy number one it was pretty easy um mainly because she comes with revive uh, here hang on let me see where's it at right here immediately revives one allied unit in range and restores 50 percent hp for them this effect can only be triggered one time per deployment and does not revive the hero herself so what i like to do since she is part of the northerner faction is you have brock here in front of her right you have her doing her booty clap and she does amazing AOE. And basically, if you have someone like Brock here who is really hard to kill, right? And he's part of the Northerner faction. They're just like peanut butter and jelly. They go together because then when you finally get Brock here dead, keep in mind, Brock here comes with a, with a second life. Once his health goes all the way down to zero, 
he gets a second crack at life. Uh, then on top of that, you kill him a second time and guess what? Valkyra will revive him. Uh, then after that, you have to kill him a third time. I mean, it's just the ultimate duo, guys. It's the ultimate duo and without the revive, she would not be nearly as high on this list. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even put her in the top five, but since she has the revive, it just makes her special. Very, very special. And look at this range. So she's got a good range for a fighter unit. It goes straight out. And then on top of that, her ultimate, I mean, it's just a booty clap and ultimate, guys. Her ultimate, th this is what's tricky about her kit. Um, from my understanding, but only unless they change this. I don't think they changed it though. Uh, but she can only hit the air units during the ultimate. Her basic attack won't hit air units. That kind of sucks. But at the same time, she's still number one. Number one on Dr. D's list and number one in our hearts. But you guys hit me up in the comments. Do you guys agree with my list? Do you guys disagree with my list? I definitely want to hear. I love to hear everyone's opinions. Not everyone's going to agree. And that's okay because if everyone had the same opinion, the world would be a boring place. So you guys let me know what your guys' thoughts are. But that's all I got for tonight's video. You guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end.